Women's Fourth Home for the Women's March. She's been us since the very beginning in 2017. And here is Diane herself. Diane Sosa! This poem is called America. We need a mother. It's probably the truest thing I've ever written. America, we need a mother. Cause father, 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 Mr. Richie Rich, Sir Daddy, Uncle Sam, you have never understood how it is to walk this earth as a woman. She, Z, he, us, they, them, if we walk alone, we carry a whistle, pepper spray, a rock, brick, our car key out like a prison shake. What kind of country is this? It is a country in need of a mother. America, it is time to buckle Sir Daddy in the back seat and let Mama drive. the nearest off-ramp from this apocalyptic intersection of cruelty and greed. America, it is time to buckle daddy in the back seat or put him in the trunk. Give him a drool bucket. Give him his 40 ounce plastic coke bottle burbling with his poisoned water to drink. Give him a coloring book and one red crayon. He feeds on that color. Not the red of a beetroot, not the red joy burst of a raspberry. No, daddy craves his red, blood fresh, hot from the vein, and he'll get it where he can. From a woman, from a child, from a soldier, from every man whose wallet is not slick and fat, from every woman, man, every child whose skin tone is darker than his own. America, we need a mother. It is time to let her drive. Man, she doesn't even need a car. Her rivers and her oceans flow through the currents of our blood. Our woman, we do feel them. We feel our mother's currents coursing through our bodies, moving the waves, the wind, the thunderhead, the hurricane. There she is now, dancing in the muddy undulations of a Mississippi. So much sacred energy and wild power. And Daddy Warbucks, Father, 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 Mr. Sir, Yes, Sir, Uncle Sam, lecherous, treacherous, engineers of our damn nation, you have been driving us all wrong. You have driven us so far from the truth of who we are, of what we are. We are of the mother and we remember now. We remember we have been waiting all of our lives trying to rewrite this pornographic fiction of the fist, the gun, the gluttony, the blaspheming narcoleptic finger on the bright red button. And our mothers, and our mothers, they tried and they waited, they rallied, they voted, they wept and they waited. And our daughters, they will wait no more. They are risen. They hear her speaking. She says, wait. She says, hurry. She says, listen, look at me. And we see she is a woman because she's been fracked, drilled, fenced, bordered, her wilderness ravaged. And yet, sick as she is, she holds us still. She feeds us still 
best as she can. She, Z, he, us, they, them, we are her revolution and her rejuvenation. America, we are of the mother and we pledge our allegiance to her. We pledge allegiance to the wisdom of the feminine, to the love of each other and Mother Earth. We pledge allegiance to peace and to the roots from which it grows. One nation with arms open wide and minds open wider. We pledge allegiance to the beauty of our world. We pledge and promise to swoon at the sight of her Blue Ridge Mountains to behold the wizened bones of the Cumberland Plateau and cry, to turn our heads in awe and witness Big Sur, the grand edge of the Western soul, right here where we stand together, one nation of the mother. We pledge allegiance to all that makes us different and to the humanity that makes us one. With liberation and justice, with imagination, energy, and wisdom, we pledge allegiance to life. Nice booth. Let's hear it for Diane.